Hey there, fellas. How are you doing? You all in good spirits? As for me, I ain't doing too bad. And for those of you who are feeling down, get ready for some uplifting in just a second. Anyway, guys, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of paper on this here table. You might remember our old experiments, where we'd pretty much turn anything we can find into a wheel. And so today we've found some paper. 20 packs worth of it, in fact. Each pack containing 500 sheets. Jesus Christ, guys. I've also bought some high-quality glue, a tub, a few rollers. And since we are making a wheel here, I'm guessing that it's gonna be somewhere around 60 centimeters in diameter. Obviously, that's a rough estimate. I mean, it can turn out to be 56 or maybe 58. Anyway, if we were to unwrap all of this paper and uh, mold it into a wheel, it should turn out to be 60 centimeters in diameter. Here's how we're doing this. We're gonna be using six pieces of paper for each layer, laid out vertically from my perspective, and then we'll apply another six horizontally. So one layer consists of six sheets, but since we have 10,000 of them, you can do the math yourselves. That would make for 1,666 layers. Yeah, this will be fun. Right, let's get stuck into it. Making a wheel from 10,000 sheets of A4 paper. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So here's where we're at, fellas. We'll just let the paper sit and dry for a while. I'd like to point out that we've recently moved into this here facility. We're just getting it broken in. But we intend to keep things here nice and clean. We've made a bit of a mess since we will be installing a hoist. Anyway, in order to keep things nice and tidy around here, we've bought a vacuum cleaner and a pressure washer. Both made by Kercher. Okay, here's what's going on. Everything's okay with these here sheets. Their thickness varies quite a bit. And let me be honest here, they've been drying here for a couple of weeks now. All that's left is to stick these stacks together. For this particular job, we've bought a different type of glue. You can see it's standing over there. Now we just apply it, stick everything together, and uh, wait until they dry. There is no other way. So let's do this. Anyway, we've stuck everything together and placed it all underneath this here paperweight. This is an RB20. And together with everything else you see, this makes for quite a bit of weight. Now we just wait a couple of days, and maybe even three, for this here glue to completely dry. They're all water-based, after all, and uh, we all know that water needs some time to evaporate. Okay, so now we wait and see what happens. See you in a bit. So here's the result. Everything's looking pretty good. We end up with a wheel which looks kind of like a pill. It looks nice and neat. We applied some extra glue to it. We let it dry a bit, but now we face a different problem. Namely, how do we install the thing? At first I thought we'd use a 5mm spacer for a lot of... But it occurred to me that it ain't rigid enough to tighten it down. So instead I'll cut out the center from this here lotto wheel. It will act as some sort of washer. It'll allow us to bolt it up nice and tight, so that it doesn't fly off. We still have one problem, though. We won't be able to drill such a thick piece evenly by hand. And we don't have a drilling machine on us. So I'll be using a larger drill bit, which will let me move back and forth. 
I mean, even if one hole is off, I won't be able to attach this to the hub. Either that or I won't be able to fit the washer I'm cutting out. Anyway, we'll figure it out. All right, now we cut away. Throw it on and go for a ride. Let's do this. Okay, we got it on, everything's good. It seems to be handling the weight of the car so far. Only thing left to do now is fire up the car and go for a spin. The weather kind of sucks today, as in it's wet outside. So I suggest we drive around in our dry garage first. If everything works out, then we go outside. Let's go! Okay, it starts, that's good. Let's move around a bit. looking good so far. It seems to drive just fine. Okay, this is great. Right. Now we put it in reverse. It does feel like something's wrong with the wheel. I mean, the car does shudder just a bit. Let me be honest here. This paper wheel works pretty nicely. I made it to this here stretch of road and I drove maybe 250-300 meters that way, taking it slowly. I gave it a little drift over there. Anyway, here's what we're looking at. The wheel is holding up beautifully, even though it is slightly... I mean, it hasn't fully dried up yet. You saw when I was drilling it, there was some gunk on the drill bit, so yeah, it's still damp. I mean, even after drying it for two weeks, it hasn't gotten there yet. Anyway, I reckon we destroy it. Let's finish the job. Oh my god, it's still intact? Unbelievable. It looks like a welded rim now. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Take a look at how wide the thing is. This is pretty stout, dude. Anyway, our paper wheel started to gradually fall apart. Turning into this sort of blob, I really don't know what to call it. A deformed tire, a chewed up tire, I don't know. It does have some width to it, though. It's somewhere around maybe a 300 section or something. And that's a lot of we're talking about here. How cool is that? 300 mil, I mean, wow. Let's tear it apart then.
So here's what we end up with. It turns out you can drive on a paper wheel. Considering we did glue together 10,000 plus sheets of paper, you should actually give this a try. You probably won't be able to make it through to the end, though. I mean, 10,000 sheets doesn't seem like much. We had a few people sticking them together using a couple of tables. Anyway, what matters is that it works. And it's gained quite a bit of girth, as you can see. Plus, it's pretty soft, so it soaks up all the bumps in the road. This is nice. You should definitely give it a try. I reckon this experiment was a great success. We got a winner here, guys, in the form of this here paper tire. Anyway, that'll be all for today's episode. So watch our videos, leave some comments and suggestions, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget about our VK page, our second channel, and our Instagram. See you later!